Welcome to St. Gabriel's Church. This is the Mass of the Solemnity of the Most Holy Body and Blood of Christ. Let us begin by singing 276 at the Lamb's High Feast. high feast we sing praise to our victorious king he has washed us in the tide flowing from his open side praise we him whose love divine gives his sacred blood for wine Gives his body for the feast, Christ the victim, Christ the priest. Where the Paschal blood is poured, Death's dark angel sheaths his sword, Israel's hosts triumphant go, through the wave that drowns the foe. Praise we Christ whose blood was shed, Paschal victim, Paschal bread, with sincerity and love, eat we manna from above. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning. Welcome to St. Gabriel's, where we gather as a family of faith, and we come together again virtually, united in prayer as God's holy people. And today we celebrate the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ, also known as Corpus Christi. We remember the love that Jesus showed us in giving us his body and blood as a memorial of our new covenant with Almighty God. As we gather this morning to celebrate, we prepare ourselves to, for this new and everlasting covenant by calling to mind the goodness of God and of our continuing need for God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you give yourself as the bread of life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you pour out your mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring us into a new and everlasting covenant. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, a heavenly King, O oh God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone 
the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit in the glory, the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who in this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion. Grant us, we pray, to so revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Remember how for 40 years now the Lord your God has directed all your journeying in the desert so as to test you by affliction and find out whether or not it was your intention to keep his commandments. He therefore let you be afflicted with hunger and then fed you with manna, a food unknown to you and your fathers, in order to show that not only by bread alone does one live, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. Do not forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery, who guided you through the vast and terrible desert with its sarap serpents and scorpions, its parched and waterless ground, who brought forth water for you from the flinty rock and fed you in the desert with manna, a food unknown to your fathers. The word of the Lord. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem, Alleluia. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem, Alleluia. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem, Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Alleluia. For he has granted peace in your borders, with the best of wheat he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his word. Praise the Lord Jerusalem, Alleluia. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done this for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Alleluia. Praise the Lord Jerusalem. Alleluia. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. 
Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one, we though many are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning once again and welcome to St. Gabriel's where we gather as a family of faith and we gather again this Sunday virtually celebrating the most holy body and blood of Jesus Christ and we are reminded how we are one through the Eucharist and as we start a new week this week will be a special time for all of us when our public masses will resume in most of the Catholic churches in the archdiocese. We will be starting a weekday mass this week and also Sunday mass next weekend. And I will announce at the end of mass that it's important that you register, make a reservation to come to one of these masses. And I'll tell you how to do that at the end of mass. But we gather today to celebrate the body and blood of Christ. And we remember in a special way the love that Jesus has for each one of us. I like to begin our celebration, our, our the homily today with a little show and tell. I like to show something that's been part of my life for many years. If you had a child the past several years who made First Communion, you've seen what I'm going to show you. Several years ago, when my parents were moving, they were going through things in their house. And as we were going through many closets and drawers, I found something that was part of my life when I was seven years old. My first communion outfit. You can see it's a little old, little yellow. You can see I'm not too much bigger now than I was back then. But for all these years, my parents, my mother saved this and we found it and I've been using it as for first communion time to show our young people that 
even though I, do no, I no longer fit in that outfit, I do remember that day, for it was a very special day for me to receive the body and blood of Christ for the first time. And when you stop and think about it, the readings today are really asking us to stop and remember, to stop and remember how much God loves each one of us. And we hear that right from our first reading of the Old Testament from the book of Deuteronomy. How does Moses begin speaking to the people? Remember, remember for how 40 years the Lord your God directed you. Remember how he fed you. Remember how he gave you something to drink. Now he's telling them, do not forget the Lord your God. Remember that he cared for you. Remember that he took you out of slavery. Remember that he gave you a covenant. And as we listen to our second reading from Paul to the Corinthians in that very short passage, he's asking the people of Corinth to remember to remember that through the body and blood of Christ, they are one. And when they partake of that loaf of bread and drink from the cup, they are united in Jesus Christ. He wants them to remember always that they have this special gift. And as we listen to our gospel today, Jesus wants us to remember that when we eat his bread, his, his eat his bread, body and drink his blood, we become one with him. And he wants us to remember that his body and blood gives us a share in the life that he has come to one for us, win for us through his death and resurrection. He wants us to remember that when we gather around the Eucharistic table, we are one with him and each other in a very special way. We know that these past several weeks and months have been very difficult time, and many of us have a great hunger for the Eucharist in our lives. And even though you haven't been able to physically take the body and blood of Christ for yourself, in a special way spiritually, you still are united with Jesus. For just as he was one with the people, our loving God was one with the people of Israel, and one with the people of Corinth, he is still one with us. And through our prayer as this community of faith, we are one with, with each other. So today, as we gather to celebrate this solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Jesus Christ, let us always remember that God is with us always, and that our loving God always remembers and never forgets any one of us. Today, the Eucharist is something that you long for. Next week, for those who are able to attend Mass, the Eucharist will be that gift for you to receive. Remember always how much you are loved. Remember always that Christ is one with us, and remember always that we are one with each other through the body and blood of Christ. As one family united by the body and blood of Christ, we show that we are one as we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, 
who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. Because of the new and everlasting covenant in Christ, we come in confidence to God with our prayers. Our response is, bread of life, hear our prayer. For the whole church, for a deeper appreciation and understanding of the gift of the Eucharist that unites us as the body of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Bread of life, hear our prayer. For all pastors, as they prepare to open their churches and to welcome home their parishioners to God's holy table, we pray to the Lord. Bread of life, hear our prayer. For civility and mutual respect among those with different views and political opinions, for peace in every part of our nation, for an end to racism and social injustice, we pray to the Lord. Bread of life, hear our prayer. For the parishioners of St. Gabriel's and for all who are listening today, that the bread of life and cup of salvation we receive at the altar will always be our nourishment, we pray to the Lord. Bread of life, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, that receiving the body and blood of Christ may bring them healing and peace, we pray in a special way for those suffering from the coronavirus. We also remember those in our parish bulletin, as well as Luke Eck, Rula Lee, Dave Schaub, Kathy Ridiu, Maria Hyduk, Madeline Kennedy, Jim Fitzpatrick, Bill Hamilton, Jean Russo, and Lou Mastriano, we pray to the Lord. Bread of life, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they be gathered at the heavenly feast in the kingdom of heaven, and we remember in this, uh, today Lorenzo Martin and Ralph Engelhart, and at this mass in particular for Bill Deegan, we pray to the Lord. Bread of life, hear our prayer. For all those we have promised to pray for and for the intentions written in the parish book of remembrance, we pray to the Lord. God ever faithful, hear our prayers. Build up your church by deepening within us the life of your covenant. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Of the Lord, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall always be on my lips. My soul shall glory in the Lord, for He has been so good to me. Taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord, of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me, to God. 
and all that you saw praise his name. I called the Lord and he answered me from all my troubles he set me free. Taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Of the Lord. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace whose signs are to be seen in mystery in the offerings we here present through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the Last Supper with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by the sacred mystery, you make them holy so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament, so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Through, therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. For Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, peace, peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. that is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And in honor of our Blessed Mother, we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our announcement for today is we have received word this past week from Cardinal Tobin's office that public daily mass can resume tomorrow, June 15th, and celebrate, uh, Sunday celebrations can resume again next weekend. I remind you that Cardinal Tobin has continued to dispense the faithful from the obligation to attend Mass on Sunday and weekdays and uh, holy days, as well as from the Easter duty, especially for those who are at risk because of underlying health issues or who are 60 or older, are strongly advised and encouraged to avoid the risk posed by attendance at public celebrations of the Mass. So again, I ask you to stop and think and pray about that before you might want to come back to Mass again. And because of that, we will continue to live stream Mass at 9 a.m. on weekdays and 10 a.m. on Sunday. And following the guidelines that we've received, we can hold 46 people for Mass. And as I was saying earlier, then reservations for Mass are uh, very important that you make so we know how many are coming because we cannot let anyone in who has not reserved a place for that particular Mass. So I'm asking you if you check our parish Facebook page or our parish website for information on, and there's a link there, of how you can reserve a seat for weekday and Sunday Masses. It's pretty easy to do uh, once you get onto the, uh, the site and you can reserve a place. We'll have a list of those who are able to attend that particular Mass. Once Mass has started, the doors will be closed and we will not be, you will not be able to come to that Mass because again of the number that we can have at a particular celebration. So it is coming back to church, but with so many different stipulations and regulations and directives. It's a time again for us to pray and to hope that this pandemic will end much sooner than expected so we can truly come together as this family of faith. And also if you look at the website, Facebook or the flock note that was sent out, it gives you a list of all the directions and directives that we have been asked to follow. And again, I am very grateful for all those who have contributed to the church these past several months. I'm grateful for your generosity and thoughtfulness and helping the parish during this difficult time. And again, today I thank Stacy and Ed for leading us so beautifully in song. And we had a special surprise today from our parish adult choir. They came several weeks ago uh, and they socially distanced, they came one at a time, recorded the song that you heard, and Luis Alfredo Lozano edited all the uh, music that you heard and put together uh, the video that was shown during meditation time. So a special word of thanks goes to all of them for helping to make our celebration of the most holy body and blood of Christ so prayerful and so special. So have a great day, know that God is with you. Remember, the love of Christ is a gift that you have been given. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. May God who invites you to, to the one table and feed you with the one bread and one cup make you one in mind and spirit through Christ our Lord, amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee, all on earth.
where thy scepter claim All in heaven above adore thee Infinite thy vast domain Everlasting is thy reign Infinite thy vast domain Everlasting is thy reign Hark the loud celestial hymn Angel choirs above are raising Cherubim and seraphim in unceasing chorus praising Fill the hands with sweet accord Holy, holy, holy Lord Fill the hands with sweet accord 